It's back. Finally doing another cool or canceled video. Very excited. Today I'm doing cool or canceled based on the first 10 Sasuke tournaments. So the way this works, I have Sasuke 1, Sasuke 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to Sasuke 10. And I'm essentially giving them a pass fail grade. If I think something is good, it's going to be cool. If I think it's bad, it's going to be canceled. I'm going to go a little in depth, but I'm not going to go too in depth. But basically just know that just because I say something is cool doesn't mean I think it's like amazing. Some things that are qualified as cool can just be good. And some things qualified as canceled can just be mediocre. But yeah, just because I say something is cool doesn't mean it's like S tier. And just because I think something is canceled doesn't mean that I think it's absolute dog water. This is quite simply a pass fail grade for the first 10 Sasuke tournaments. So let's get right into it. Starting off with Sasuke 1, I'm actually going to uh, regretfully cancel the first ever Sasuke tournament. Now, don't get me wrong. I am well aware of the history and what this tournament means for Sasuke as a whole. This is the one that started it all. It's a huge deal and for that I am always going to be grateful for it. And while I don't necessarily think it's a bad tournament, I don't exactly think that Sasuke 1 feels too much like Sasuke. For those of you who might not know, Sasuke started off as an event on Kiniku Banzuke, which was another show, so basically this was just one event that became its own thing later on. And while I think the later tournaments did a really good job at making Sasuke still feel like its own event and a Banzuke event, Event, this tournament just kind of felt like another Banzuke event. To me, there's nothing super special about it, and then the indoor environment also kind of takes away from the magic of it. This was a good start for Sasuke, but it didn't feel like Sasuke fully just yet, and so for that, I'm gonna give it cancelled, but it was pretty close to being labeled as cool. Next up with Sasuke 2, I'm gonna say cool. Even if the course didn't change a whole lot, they made a lot of necessary changes to, I would say, stage 3, which was arguably the weakest stage in Sasuke 1. They took it outdoors for a more breathy and open area type of feel and this is when Sasuke started to feel like Sasuke. This is when I think the magic of Sasuke was truly captured with the pools being deeper, with the aesthetic of, of the green and brown of the course being a lot more um, just vibrant and fun. They also started letting on some joke competitors and while I don't like joke competitors taking over a whole tournament, that didn't happen in Sasuke 2. It was fun with a good balance of serious and I enjoyed it a lot. Sasuke 3, however, is also cool. Maybe I'm speaking with a little bit of bias because Sasuke 3 is the first Sasuke tournament that I have seen, but I think Sasuke 3 elevates everything that Sasuke 2 did and is just better in every way. I think the courses, when they didn't change, they were fine. They didn't need to change at the time. And the courses that did change needed to change and they made it better. The final stage gave us five finalists, which was absolutely insane to me. I think that's awesome but also just like what and then of course one of the most iconic moments in sasuke history for me at least is yamada's climb on sasuke 3 because he gets so close and drops from the very top it really set the stage for a lot of hype for me personally and for a lot of others surrounding sasuke 4 because at this point we knew the mountain was going down sasuke 4 cool how can i not like sasuke 4 the introduction of the cliffhanger alone puts this in cool for me. The cliffhanger is one of my favorite obstacles. So again, that might be a little bit of bias, but I do have some valid points as to why this is a cool tournament. Travis Allen Schroeder does a great job and he is he brings some extra muscle and, and for a big guy does really well, derails the pipe slider, makes it that far in the first place. That's very impressive. Of course, we have our clear record on stage one. This is when I was a little iffy on saying cool because you shouldn't have that many clears on stage one. This is definitely a sign that the course was getting too easy. However, I don't necessarily see it as a bad thing this early on into Sasuke history. I think fourth tournament, sure, you can have that many clears. Definitely should not happen again. And then, of course, we have the big, big moment, which is Akiyama becoming the first person to achieve Kanz and Seiha, defeating all four stages and becoming the first man to ever defeat a ninja course. How could that not be cool? Moving on to the new era, Sasuke 5, I'm also going to say cool. With Sasuke 4 getting the stage one clear record, I figured they needed to make Sasuke 5 tougher and that's exactly what they did without making Sasuke 5 absolutely ridiculous. In my opinion, even though there were only three clears on stage one, that's the fault of the competitors and their athletic ability and their inexperience on the course, not because they made the course too hard, unlike other renewals. I think this really separated the men from the boys and started the new craze of who is going to be next and what's going to be 
the next big moment in Sasuke history. Because personally, after you see someone win, you kind of want to just like, oh, okay, I've seen it, I can stop watching. But no, Sasuke 5 kept me intrigued, and for that, it gets the title of cool. Sasuke 6, I am also going to say cool, mainly because we had overall better results than Sasuke 5. And of course, it gives us one of the iconic moments, which is Yamada's Sasuke 6 pipe slider fail. This man was all over the early stages of Sasuke, and he definitely delivered some really great moments. Honestly, I prefer 5 over 6. I'm just glad that it's not another wash like Sasuke 5. It needed to improve on the results. It did improve on the results, and it was enjoyable. But at the same time, this is a little more middle of the pack for the tournaments for me out of these first 10. I don't think there's anything inherently special about this tournament. I don't think there's anything inherently bad about this tournament. It's a good tournament. It gets cool comfortably, but it's nowhere S tier, A tier, maybe b plus yeah b plus tier sounds about right sasuke 7 is a tournament that i think is heavily slept on so i'm going to give it the ranking of cool before i start but sasuke 7 to me just had so much more oomph than sasuke 6 i can't exactly put my finger on it but it's just the general atmosphere of sasuke 7 it feels like they're really gunning for it now that everyone's used to the newer obstacles like the jump hang and the warped wall and all that other good stuff it feels like the competitors are there to play. And at the same time, you have your fun with your Joe competitors, so it's a good balance of the lighthearted and the more serious. In my opinion, stage three was a lot of fun. Stage three is my favorite stage, so it's always good to have a quality stage three. And of course, what really gets me is Shingo Yamamoto's final stage climb where he dislocates his shoulder. It is one of the saddest, most emotional moments for me in Sasuke, and when I first saw it, my heart literally dropped and I think that's what really really makes me love Sasuke 7 because at the end of the day while I can have criteria like good results good obstacles good editing blah 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 what really gets me into Sasuke is if it makes me feel something and Sasuke 7 made me feel something that I hadn't felt in any other Sasuke tournament Sasuke 8 I'm going to say is also cool is it a little overrated yeah maybe a little but is it still a really good tournament yeah I would say so. Stages one and two were just kind of run of the mill for me. There wasn't anything like super spectacular about them, but it was still a pretty fun tournament. But stage three for me is where all of the entertainment value came in. And I think this tournament is the one that really made me gravitate towards stage three as a whole. You had some newcomers on the course. You had some of the more seasoned veterans on the course. Some of them had scores to settle with certain obstacles. Others were just trying to set their personal best. And then of course you get Ken Kasugi and Jordan Yochev clearing stage three and advancing to the final stage. And I freaked out because we had not seen the walls on the spider climb separate in Sasuke 7 because Shingo never made it that far and so seeing those walls split after 15 seconds that was when I was like oh my gosh is this even doable and that made it so much better for me Sasuke 9 I'm going to say cool after Kane Kasugi left you know they kind of tried to usher in this new face of the show and of course Yamada was there and some other competitors uh, but this is when we really had some breakout performances that showed, yes, Sasuke can do just fine without celebrity competitors, without Ken Kasugi, and it can survive. Not only was this the breakout run of Makoto Nagano, but we had some very consistent veterans making it to stage three. It was a very fun tournament in general. I wouldn't say it was super high quality, but it was fun. For me, nothing tanks this tournament. Nothing really elevates it to like an elite tournament, but it was still reliably good TV and definitely the one that I can rewatch the most out of these 10. And finally Sasuke 10, I am going to say cool. A lot of people don't like Sasuke 10, but I do, but it is one of those that's like bordering the line between cool and canceled. I almost said canceled because I'm not going to pretend that this was like great, but it was still decent. Yamada definitely carried this tournament and his pipe slider fail just cracks me up honestly at this rate looking like looking back now but when I first watched it I was like oh dude you're kidding me but at the same time there were some decent runs and a good vibe to this first anniversary tournament that made me enjoy it and I think it's that anniversary status that really keeps it in the cool category instead of knocking it down to canceled because had this just been another tournament yeah I might have canceled it and I might have said, whatever, it's just another tournament. But that extra special feeling of having it as an anniversary and then giving us a pretty good moment and a good run out of Yamada at the very least, 
I can't complain too much. I'm going to say it's cool, but definitely one of the more just average tournaments. So those are my thoughts on the first 10 Sasuke tournaments in the terms of cool or canceled. Yes or no, pass, fail, call it what you want but I'm calling it Cooler Cancel. Comment below if you agree with my opinions or disagree and why. I'd love to get the conversation started. And if you guys want to talk more in depth, you can definitely talk on my Discord server linked in the description. I'll be back tomorrow with my thoughts on Sasuke 11 through Sasuke 20. Until next time, I'm Kane Nakasuki.